Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 18th of March. We do believe today should be the warmest day so far this year with low 80s. And we'll stay warm and dry for a while. For the most part, let's take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. First off, coming from Haleyville, Alabama in Winston County. Nice look at downtown. The sky is clear. Temperatures are uh, mostly in the, the 50s. Look at that big old moon over Chihaw. You know, we got that big full moon coming up tomorrow night. Uh, it will be the largest since 1983 due to the proximity to the Earth be fun to watch that. The sky will be clear for that. And then down in Auburn, in Lee County, a clear, pleasant morning. Ah, look at the ridge building in from the Gulf, shunning the jet stream to the north. That's going to keep us high and dry for a while. These are highs yesterday. Look at the 90s out there in Texas, low 90s. Had 80s up into uh, Missouri and uh, Kansas. Oklahoma City had 88, I believe, yesterday. And again, a pretty good chance we'll be in the low 80s today. And the weather pretty quiet around the nation. Just a handful of issues in scattered pockets out west, but certainly nothing around here in terms of weather problems for the weekend. And really no rain for a while. This is the rain expected through Tuesday evening of next week. And yeah, it's got a sliver of green up over northeast Alabama, but most places will be dry. Heaviest uh, precipitation around the nation way out west in California. Here's the OZGFS at uh, noon today. Here's the ridge down below that. Nice. Highs in the low 80s. The uh, GFS is showing 81. Tomorrow, uh, and by the way, we note there is a weak surface boundary north of us. You can see a few showers on that, but that will fizzle out before reaching us. Tomorrow, another dry, warm day. The uh, NAM is showing 82. The GFS at 79. We'll say Highs at or over 80 in most locations. We'll call it partly sunny. Probably a few clouds with that dissipating front. And Sunday. Uh, all right, now look at the wedge coming in. You see the cold air over the northeast. And uh, cold air damming setting up. And that could push some clouds into Georgia and maybe east Alabama. Uh, again, at this point, both the models are totally discounting that. The GFS and the NAM are showing 82 on Sunday. It could be if you're close to the Georgia border, places like Cedar Bluff and Leesburg and Heflin and Ranburn, Wadawi, you might see a high closer to 70. Uh, but for most everybody, we think we'll stay in the low 80s. And again, uh, there'll be maybe some clouds over on that far eastern side of the state. Uh, Monday of next week, no real change. Highs close to 80. Wedge begins to break down, and then uh, Tuesday, again, warm and dry. High right around 80 with a partly sunny sky. We'll go to uh, Wednesday of next week, and again, uh, you know, she's having a hard time seeing any major rain event. There's a weak surface low south of St. Louis and a weak front that's going to come in here, and again, that might kick off a shower Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday evening, but certainly no big deal. And then Thursday, a trough begins to form over the east. You can see the ridge starting to pump up over the central states. And Thursday will cool down a little bit, but not very much. The high should be probably back in the upper 60s. Uh, there's the surface chart. And then on Friday, again, uh, certainly no threat of any freeze if this is right. Uh, lows may be in the, in the low 40s and highs in the 60s on Friday, but still that's not too bad for this time of the year. We'll quickly peek at the next day. This is Saturday the 26th. Some evidence of a front passing through, maybe a few showers, but again for now doesn't look like a big rain event. Got there five more days. Yeah, look at the trough forming over the east. You know, we, the GFS has been flashing that negative NAO sign, and now the operational runs are picking up on that. Western Ridge, eastern trough, and some colder air nosing in here. And, of course, every run's going to look different. How cold it gets, we don't know that yet. Uh, this run is not as cold as the one we showed you yesterday. And on April the uh, 2nd, very deep trough axis off to the east. And again, some pretty cold air over the eastern part of the nation. Again, I just think we'll have another freeze. How cold? We don't know that yet. Which morning? We don't know that. But just look out for some pretty good cold snap out there about the time April begins. And again, there's the NAO, and you can see that negative spike 
It's clearly there around the uh, 1st of April, April Fool's Day. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10 in Birmingham. Thanks for watching. Have a great Friday, and God bless.